Alright guys, so before we get to the engine stuff, um, I actually have another quick job that I'm doing, uh, and it's a conversion of the headlights. Uh, right now I'm running 7 inch chrome headlights on the Caterham. I have some 5 and 3 quarter inch headlights, which are just a little bit smaller obviously, uh, but I'm going to convert them from the standard halogen bulb to an LED style bulb. So. Uh, it's a fairly easy process. I'll quickly show you how it uh, works. There's a little bit of modification that you have to do, uh, but here you go. Firstly, I apologize for the mess here. Um, I've got a little bit of space cleared. Now, I bought from Caterham, or essentially from Caterham, but they're not, these five and three quarter inch headlights. Same uh, as the chrome ones, just in, in a black. They do come mounted with the bulb, and you have to take out um, from the bezel, when the bulb's sitting in there, like so, some spring clips. Three of them on the five and three quarter inches. Now, the type of bulb that I'm putting in to these new um, headlights is uh, in this box here. Let me get into it here. It's a very similar headlight to what goes um, into a Harley headlight. So we'll just take off the protective cover there. That is it. So it's an LED headlight that we should be able to mount in there relatively easily, though there is a little bit of modification. What you have to do first is, uh, obviously once you've dismantled the original halogen out of the, uh, out of the existing uh, housing, the spring brackets, these little, I don't know if I can zoom in here, Let's see. Uh, there we go, so these little spring brackets have to be shortened, so they are about mm, another probably three quarters of an inch, maybe half an inch longer coming out of the standard bezel and they need to be ground down shorter. So the little arms on each of these clips has to be ground down. So that is one thing for sure we have to change. And uh, let's sort of zoom on in here and you'll see me try and fit this thing. So what we have to do first, again, clear some space. I like to make sure there's lots of padding down. I don't want to scratch anything, obviously. We don't need the housing right this second. So we'll just tuck that aside. We do need the bezel, and we do need the, um, the light. Let's toss this aside here too. Now, what you have to do is mount the bezel. That was the right way up, I should uh, make sure. So there is a little clip on the bottom of the headlight, and then a screw that goes in the top of the Caterham headlight. So, make sure the bezel fits. And then, because these aren't mounted perfectly straight, you kind of eye it up roughly where the clip is gonna go. And you can actually soft mount it in here. And then sort of twist the bulb until it lines up roughly. roughly with the mount because the mount this mount is obviously always going to be vertical it's kind of offset to where the screw is and the, the base it's not quite perfectly square so with this now sitting in a relatively decent position actually let's use this box again just because it'll keep some pressure around the center and then we're going to try and put in place these little clips and you do they're spring clips and you do have to should clean 
that one up a little more. But you do have to put a bit of pressure on them. Um, and there's sort of three spots where they can sit nicely on the light. So I try and, uh, you put one arm in first. Oops, not there. Use your pliers to grab the other arm once it's hooked under the lip of the bezel. You always want to keep a finger on it so it doesn't spring back into your eye or something. And I maybe should be wearing eye protection. There we go. So the first one is in place there. So that just holds the bezel. Now you obviously have a couple more to go in. But I'm just going to try and fit it again. And use this just to hold it there. Make sure we're relatively straight. And as you can sort of see, uh, by mounting it there, if you uh, look at it, it's not quite straight. So now is the time to adjust and make sure you get it as straight as possible vertically in there. So we're going to do that. Okay, so um, the light obviously is uh, now nice and straight. I'll show you guys here. So you just put that in, just a rough mock-up. And uh, you can see there the light lines up pretty well with uh, the vertical mount there um, of the headlight. Because uh, you do want it as straight as you can sort of get it, give or take. That's about right. So now uh, we've done that. I am going to, again, just to put that aside for a brief second here. We still have the final clip to go in. And we're going to just do that here. I think we'll uh, put a little extra padding under there. Put the clip here and we shall put it under right around there. Again, put your finger on it. Use the pliers to uh, grab a hold. You want to be careful not to scrape the bezel or anything. And then uh, we should be able to push this down and under. There we go clipped into place. So what you can see here are those one, two, three clips there, secured bezel obviously on the headlight. And now we take the headlight and there is a light bulb in here, which is an indicator bulb. I'm going to take that out because it's going to be tucked in behind here. Uh, so I don't really want it flashing away back behind. We have a plug, and we have a green plug. We're gonna plug those together. They should just slip together, no problem. As I say, it should. There we go. Now it's plugged in. And there's a little bit of space in this area of the headlights to sort of tuck the cables. So I'm just going to try and make sure they're tucked out of the way a little bit in there so they're not going to pinch or do anything that we don't want to electrically in there. And then that is that. So, final thing is to put the screw which sits right in the top of here back in place. Screw that down. It's very difficult to, it's not a um, captured nut, it's just a threaded piece of metal in there. So you don't want to strip it if you can avoid it. I did a little bit on the other headlight, but uh, try and avoid it. Snug it up so the nut's firm, but not too, too tight. That is it guys. So I'm just going to do a quick close up view of it. So obviously brand new, 
five and three quarter inch K-Durham headlight as they come. Switched out the halogen bulb and we've put in this uh, new LED. That is it. So when these do go on the car, they'll still have to be aligned. Make sure that um, they're not going to blind anyone else on the road. But that's it.